Hey, what's up guys? So I got another unboxing video here for you guys and this is a plasma cutter that I just purchased. Uh, it's an Amico electric um, cut 50 HF um, plasma cutter. So here it is. So here's the box. Um, it had some good reviews. I watched a lot of videos on it, so I was able to cut about the steel that we're cutting here on the truck. Um, I need to make some engine mounts that'll go on the 5.3 to the 53. And yeah, so I ended up purchasing this. I picked it up for, shit, I can't remember how much it was. I think it was like three something. It was like 380 something. It was almost 400 bucks. So not too bad uh, of a price for a plasma cutter. At least, you know, kind of a budget plasma cutter. Okay, pretty much here. Owner's manual right here. We got the owner's manual Here's the plug to go with the 110 the Ground Here's the torch itself. So this one's pretty cool because every time that you pull the trigger, it'll it'll activate. You don't actually have to touch the product or the material that you're cutting. Okay, so here it is out of the box. It's not too big, but it is fairly heavy. Um, here you can see it without the bag. So here's all the controls for it. Here's the air on off. It is a two twenty. I think. This has to be for like the water outlet. I have to go through the manual, but you know, I'll probably end up trying it without going through the manual. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna get it hooked up and then uh, we'll cut a couple pieces of steel and see how it's gonna work. Okay, so on this part, it's pretty self explanatory, it's got little designs right here. Um, so the torch obviously goes in here, and then you got your your remote, and the remote has a little, you can see a little notch right there, and it has it in there as well, you can see it on the top side. So then, that goes in, Okay. All right, so I got it all hooked up. We got the air, the ground, and check out this ground. This ground is beefy, man. I like that. All right, so this is 316 steel. Um, that's what I've been using to like do the boxing plates. And that's pretty much what I'm going to use once I trace out my the uh, engine mounts that are going to be getting attached to to these engine mounts here. So once I do all that, you know, 
that'll go from the frame to those on the engine block but let's see let's see if it cuts you know and what's cool is it doesn't need to touch anything so you, can, so you guys can see it'll it turns on right away um, the only thing that I don't like is it only comes with these expendables so I definitely need to order more um, all right well let's give it a try Woo! That cut nice and clean. So you guys can see there's a little bit of slag on this here. So you know once it hit there it was kind of a pain. But that cut that cut really nice. Um let's see, let's do one more. That was really nice. That I'm gonna end up uh, making like uh, stencils, so I'll be able to butt up against them and you know really trace where I want to cut. But man, I've been waiting for one of these for forever, and uh, everything that you look for is super expensive. Um, so let's see. This is pretty much on full power, which is 10. I'm gonna go down to like halfway right here and let's see if it'll still cut Well, it still cuts, so that's pretty much all that I needed. All right, guys. Well, uh, that's pretty much all I have for you. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Thank you.